make a difference in society. Beneficiaries are actually the elderly in Singapore. To design not for the greats, but design for the little children themselves. Benefit the environment and also raise the awareness on proper e-waste recycling. To inspire the youth, not to despise their small beginnings. To impact lives, impact the society through little efforts like that. Of this world, will anyone hear the sound of this one cry? The voice in silence crying now for hope. Will you be there? Will you be there? The souls are searching for the hope of life. The hands are stretching out for someone to hold. darkness of it all Will you feel the loss? Will you feel the loss? Will you hear the cry? Will you give that hope? Will you be the help this one born? Will you hear the cry? Will you give that hope? Will you be the help this one born?
on, let's give all the young people in City Harvest a big hand. Praise the Lord. Incredible voices over there. And uh, you know, the title of this song is called Hope of One Voice. And how many have been tremendously blessed by the song itself, amen? amen? You know, the writer of this song is actually a member of our church as well. And uh, she's actually a businesswoman. So I always wonder why God always works in mysterious ways. A businesswoman who writes songs. She is the founder and president of 77th Street Retail Chain. She sits on over 20 boards and committees of public service, youth and community organizations. She was honored as a Forbes Asia Hero of Philanthropy in the year 2010 and recently awarded Singapore Public Service Medal in 2011. Most importantly, she's a wonderful Christian, a long-time member of City Harvest Church, and she is a lover of God's presence. Would you please help me to welcome to the stage Miss Elim Chiu. Hope of one voice. Wow. Thank you, Pastor. Awesome. Thank you. The, we got a hug again. <laughs> they sang it so beautifully. Beautiful, incredible voice. Eh? Yes. Um, you know, Il Ilim, how is it possible that you as a businesswoman uh, able to write such a wonderful song? I mean, the lyrics is so beautiful. Well, I, I believe it's a miracle. It's a miracle. It is me. a miracle. Yeah, Hallelujah. It is right? a miracle. <laughs> And, you know, I was sharing that, you know, it's, I was going through a tough time. And then, you know, I went to uh, Japan and, and with Nance Chong, uh, we went for APEC. Wow. And so I guess I was in this small town called Gifu. Uh, and Nance went out for dinner and I was in a hotel room. So I was struggling through in a hotel room. And then I watched a documentary about flood. And then I went to sleep at 4.30 in a, in the morning, I was woken up and I saw a vision of a flood. Wow. It was in darkness, but all these children were floating on logs, hanging on to the logs, but their hands were stretching out, crying out for hope. And, you know, as you see the children all stretching out, you know, the heart was crying. And then the next thing I saw was God says, I hear your cry. I hear your one voice. And the next thing I saw was, you know, people coming in. God sent people, like you and me, to go in to help all these children. Wow. And the last part, the children said, because you believe, you changed my life wow. and you changed my world. Wow, awesome. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. You know, Elim, this year's Emerge, uh, more than just, of course, the encounters that we experience with God is just tremendous. And uh, you look at all the young people getting involved if society making an impact over there tell us you know what what other words that you can use to encourage us well i must say you know everything is from god i don't think i'm able to write a song like that without the vision you know i try writing things uh, it didn't work <laughs> and then you know when i have dreams i try to write down in the morning when i wake up i can't read my own writing <laughs> so what this time around i did was to when i saw the vision coming and it keep coming i i wrote it down on my blackberry i type it on my blackberry mm. And the minute I finished typing, I sent it to my friend and said at 5 a.m. in the morning. So in half hour, I wrote this whole thing. Wow. And then I asked my friend, can you make sense of this thing? Uh, and then, you know, in a few days, she came back with some melody. Wow. And what happened was, after I got the melody, we got together and we recorded down. And I actually let Brother Ing Han hear it. Wow. And Brother Ing Han said, I believe in it and let's do a recording for it. So we got the best uh, arranger, song arranger, Martin Tang. Wow. And he actually arranged the song. And then after we got it arranged, and a few weeks ago, I sent it to Sun. Wow. I said, this is a song I co-wrote with a friend. And Sun said, you know, uh, I think, you know, she got everyone to listen to it. And today we play it at Emerge. Awesome. Praise and the Lord. It's a dream. It's a vision that come true. Amen. I thought I wrote it this song for people who are going through darkness, who are seeking for hope. But actually, I saw it in a vision today the complete vision that God is raising our young people in Image. God is raising our people here to fulfill the needs out there, to meet the needs out there, and also to heal the hurt out there. And we are the voice as a church. Yeah. Beautiful. Come on, let's give Elim a big round of applause. Thank you. So I want to thank Pastor Kong, because without his belief in me and what I do, I won't be standing here today. And church, this is our home. Amen. 
Amen. This is our life. Yeah. And we are raised up in this time for generations such as this Amen. to create a hope out there for the world. And we are called for this. And Praise Pastor, we will, we will need you to lead us. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. No, amen. <laughs> Thank you. Praise the Lord. City Harvest Church, ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause to Ilim Chiu.